Next one is from Michael. Michael Kosinski from Poland. My great grandmother was from Poland. Great, awesome. All right, <laughs> uh, that's not useful. Hello, Lars. I watch your tutorial. Um, thank you so much. And uh, talking about an LED reflector. Yes. Actually, also send me an image. What is always awesome when you send me an image? That helps me a lot. Send me an image like this. Now, I might need a little bit more detail for this. But, you know, I thought this could be fun to... Uh, maybe this is useful. Michael, maybe not. I'm sorry if it's not. But I had an idea. When I looked at this, see, anything that is round, we don't need these anymore. Anything that is round inside of Fusion. Um, one of the best, there was nothing in that file. One of the best things you can do is to use Revolve. So this is what I thought about when I saw this, uh, when I saw this, Michael. Um, if I create a sketch profile, Let's create a line, go over, I don't know, 150, like that. Alpha line, let's go up again. Let's go 80 up. And then I thought about like, I was thinking more like maybe a headlight, but maybe it's not as useful to you, Michael. Do a spline over here. Get okay to that. Create a line over somewhere to snap to that point. Okay. <laughs> Because this is what I was thinking about, Michael. If I go in and use a horizontal constraint to that one, and whoops, and let's make this one vertical like this, and then maybe if we play with it a little bit, can we make this look more like a a light bulb? Maybe not. Okay. Ah, uh, good enough. Close enough. Um, let's revolve this around and use that axis at the center like that. Uh, I know that is not, I know, I know that is not kind of the outside, uh, look maybe there's the, the, but the inside looks somewhat like that. Then doesn't it look somewhat like that shape there? I don't know. Maybe not, but I had an idea. I wanted to show you something cool. Um, anything that is round. So for the outside of this here, definitely use revolve. Michael, but what I did was I thought, all right, I have an idea. Let's go in and use that move tool I just used before. I'm gonna select the body here. I'm gonna make a copy of this. I'm gonna drag it out like that. Um, so now I have a, a copy of one copy, see that? And then I went in and I decided I was gonna scale it. And I'm gonna make it 0.25. So now it's that small. And then I had an idea about if I went in and create a sketch on this front face and let's do a center rectangle like this. And I thought maybe we make it 50 by 50 like that. And actually, yeah, that will work. And then go back to the move tool and select that on the center. But instead of using the standard moving it around by dragging the handles, we could hit from point, select that point, right? Select that center point to that corner point. And now it's sitting in there, that body. And then we could use the combine tool, but use cut instead. This is the target body, and this is the tool body in here. Hit OK. And don't we get something that's simil that looks similar to... Uh, so the image there of these rounds, do we? Am I being creative or is this silly? I don't know. So now I place this up here. Let's go in and do a mirror and I will select faces. Select these three faces in here, mirror it over this face. So now we get one there. Let's do right click and repeat mirror. Select these here those two and mirror that over the other face this face now we got those four i don't know i thought this was kind of creative way to do this but you see how they're overlapping in there so uh, let's go and right click on the original sketch let's delete this 
sketch and make them equal so we only have to control it one place there we go and let's try to make this one 40 finish sketch they're just about touching right click edit let's make it 35 now they're intersecting maybe that's a little bit too much edit 37 yeah, that looks like something a little bit similar, doesn't it? You be the judge. Um, and then when I when I looked at this, I thought, all right, let me just do a Q for press pull, select these inside faces, and just drag that through there. And I don't know what I have created here, Michael. Um, <laughs> it looks like something that could be electronic. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I thought that was a fun little way to uh, to model something up. Maybe it could inspire somebody out there to just see some different ways to do this. This is one of the things that I find interesting uh, when it comes to model things up inside of Fusion is there's all these different ways to do it. So again, some people were complaining uh, last week when I did, um, I was kind of like trying to blend two, two areas together. And some people saying I should have used loft instead of using the um, the setback fill it or using what I used was the sculpting environment. I just love there's so many different ways you can do this. I know if you're brand new, it does get a little frust frustrating because you're just looking for that right way to do it. Uh, so you can get the dang job done. But I kind of like to play around with some of these different ones. I hope that was useful, Michael. Um, I thought it was a fun little exercise. All right, let's move on.